I have to say the lineup this year for the keynote speakers has been amazing. I think day one started with a bang. Anita Sengupta talking about sustainability, talking about ideas we would have not even heard about. The blend of theoretical knowledge and practical advice from the speakers is something that I really find elsewhere. Today there was uh, Amy's session about game thinking. And when I sat through her session, that realization dawned on me how game thinking can be applied to a transformation. So I had a short interaction with her after the session. The mob programming session, oh my god, it was Woody. He was, uh, he was wonderful. One thing I like about Agile India is uh, it is uh, framework agnostic. It brings in all the elements of product building. I was really inspired by Fred George, who spoke about sabotaging a transformation. And what I really took back was how can we be fearless, have the courage, work with the leaders, and make our transformation successful. That's what I try to do with all my presentations, is you know, sort of put something out there that's a little unusual, thought-provoking. Uh, not just saying, hey, here's Agile, we did Agile, and Agile works fine. Uh, no, you can always do something a little different. There's more open-minded people here in this particular conference than any other conference around the world. Just now I'm coming from a workshop where uh, there was a session on how to draw posters, which I've been looking forward to learning for a long time. The problem that you face is a, is a problem of plenty. You, you find uh, it hard sometimes to choose which session to attend because there's so many good sessions going on in parallel at times. Practical engineering, team dynamics, organizational change. There's a lot to choose from. I mean, I think it's one of my favorite conferences. I'm glad that it's back in person. I think there's a certain kind of magic and a dynamic that happens when you have people in the room. What I really like is how professionally it's run. And I find like a really good food. Happy for that because when your stomach is full only you will listen what is there. It has been spectacular from the hospitality to the content to getting to meet everyone from the speakers to the attendees and also the sponsors and their booths and their products. It's been amazing. So there are a lot of thought leaders who come down to this uh, conference and that's the thing that drives me and brings me here. You get to know them, you get to talk to them in person and you get to, you know, listen to them, learn from them. People have been very open to share their challenges. Um, the speakers have been sharing with their own examples how they have actually overcome some of these challenges that we have had. We are taking back a lot of knowledge with us which we wouldn't have been able to get to know. There's a lot of insights. A lot of takeaways in the form of what I can use in my day-to-day -day life, uh, what I can use to improve the way I already function as a coach. And besides this, I also got to meet so many people from the industry. It's, it's all about kind of really connecting those dots, trying to learn and share. I think networking with the people has been really the highlight. I do interact with some of the speakers. I met with Dev. I think Dev has been fantastic. The kind of topic that he had about the continuous delivery pipeline, the way he covered, the way he talked about certain insights, I think those have been really great. This is one of the um, premier uh, conference uh, in, in India. And this is being held in Bangalore. And you don't need to travel anywhere. So it's a great opportunity to come here and learn new things, industry trends. People are so willing to ask questions and you can really tell that people are listening and engaging with the content. It was a great opportunity to come in here and a lot of new things, new learnings, new takeaways and it was really amazing.